YouTube, Best Coast Collector here. Uh, today's video, we're going to be doing a product review of uh, Chase My Comics new NBA box, as well as a Chase My Comics chase for a Zion and a Jaw Prism. Um, what's really cool about this product is it gives you an opportunity to, get to kind of invest in a chase for a Zion or one of these higher end rookie prisms um, that maybe, you know, you can't afford to pay the $350 for the retail box that's currently out there right now. Um, I think this was $40 just through his Instagram. These chase packs are like $10 or $12 each, uh, maximum four. Um, you know, I know for a fact what we're searching on these is like a green Zion prism. Um, with this, we're looking at a silver Zion prism, a couple jaw prisms, and two other Zion parallels, um, which are really cool. And for $40, you know, you're gonna get uh, a a pretty good value, um, which you really can't find anywhere else. Uh, with these, there's only 125 boxes being sold in the chase. Um, each box contains three packs. Uh, pack one is five base rookie cards. Uh, pack two is going to be one color rookie card and five color vets. Uh, and then the third pack is going to be two inserts and a swatch card. Um, really good value for $40, especially considering you can pull a Zion, which is you know, amazing and, and uh, really hot right now. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this and see how we do. All right, there's his business card. Um, definitely recommend giving him a follow. He does a lot of really fun, uh, different types of chases uh, every, every other week, it seems like. Put this there. All right, there's our three. We'll do it in order from here. Um, See if we can, yeah, cool. Save those, which is nice. We'll try and do a reveal. That's the front. All right, so there's the back, and it's a it's a sleeve. So there's quite a few of them. Let's see if we can get these out, and we'll go through them one at a time. Right, for the first, I was flipping. Davidas Servitas rookie card Pistons. Uh, Bruno Fernando, put this here. Next, uh, Jalen Hands. Am I the only one that thinks that his his head is photoshopped onto this? It looks so much bigger than what it needs to be for his body. So it was a weird card. Mia Oni, rookie for the Jazz, and then we saw the last, the Quindary Witherspoon. So solid five rookies. Let's see how the color goes. Let's see if we can save this. And now we're just gonna go for it. So obviously we're looking for ja for Zion and Ja. Um, I just started kind of getting into his chases and I haven't really hit any of his big cards yet, but I've seen a lot of people pull some of his bigger cards, which has uh, been pretty exciting to watch. So hopefully we can pull something great today. So with this one, I think we're gonna have one rookie color and then five uh, veteran colors. So let's see what this one is. All right, Emmanuel Moutier. Aaron Holiday Green. Rookie, is that Quindary Weatherspoon? <laughs> red, white, and blue. Alex Len Silver, that's nice. Uh, Pau Gasol, red, white, and blue. And then the inserts. So hopefully we can find a patch, maybe an auto. Uh, I think there were a couple jaw patches in this in this uh, chase. So let's see if we get lucky with that. Okay, so these are individual. It looks like one individual and then one uh, one individual and then a, uh, like a thick sleeve of a pair. So we'll do the the patch. James Harden patch. That's cool. Nice. A good hit. That was really cool. Obviously, you know James Harden is one of the best players in the league. Crazy scorer, solid MVP winner, just really good ball player. And then Jared uh, Jared Culver, emergent, and the other Cameron Johnson, instant impact. Not so bad. I'll put those there. So yeah, I mean. The colors, I think, a really good value you're getting out of this, and then obviously with the opportunity to hit Jaw or Zion, and then you get a, a nice relic or auto. It's pretty sweet. It's a really good deal. Um, and so now we're going to jump on to the 
the chase, which is a green Zion is what we're looking for, or um, even just like the, the simple, the, the base Zion prism. Here. So they come in a cluster as well, so I'll we'll try and do that. Looks like we got some uh, green and a silver. Nice. Let's see, rookie. No. Hornets, Bismack Biombo. Rookie. Nope. Looks like Joe Harris. Silver, though, it's nice. Oh, another color. Uh, Avery Bradley, red, white, and blue. Isaiah Roby, I get so, I pull Isaiah Roby more than anyone. I have a couple of his on-card autos out of Origins. Um, he's a good player, but hopefully he uh, he pans out. I'll have some some really nice, uh, some cards to deal with. Uh, Bruno Fernando, another Prism rookie for Bruno. And Justin James for the Kings. So no Zion or Jaw there. Let's see if we get lucky with this one. Pull these out, cover them, cool. And then obviously, you know, it's a small thing, but brand new sleeves, if you do these carefully, what's nice is he doesn't like open the tape, he just puts scotch tape, so you can reuse those. And then obviously the uh, the, the super thick uh, card top letters are always nice to have as well. Uh, so let's do the first one, Wendell Carter Jr. Green, nice. Uh, no rookie. Courtney Lee, Indianapolis. I'm an Indiana uh, native. Uh, I currently live in Los Angeles, but any any player from Indiana or specifically Indianapolis where I grew up playing basketball, um, I'm, I'm a, always kind of a big fan of. Courtney Lee was actually in my class in high school. He played for Pike. Um, really good ball player. I randomly had an opportunity to sit next to Mel Daniels, who was the scout for the Indiana Pacers. And when Sean Livingston came to Indianapolis to, to play against Pike, um, me and Mel Daniels were arguing who would have the better NBA career. Uh, he obviously thought it would be Sean Livingston. I thought it would be Courtney Lee. Um, Sean went like three for 17 from the floor in that game. And Courtney, Courtney had like a really efficient, like 12 of 15. Pike ended up winning. Um, just a, you know, random Indiana high school basketball story, but, uh, Always follow a lot of the Indiana high school basketball guys. Um, a lot of the guys from my class specifically got overlooked, in my opinion. Uh, George Hill was in that class. Courtney Lee obviously was in that class. And a few other guys. Um, but uh, Courtney Lee, silver, very cool. Um, so Kent Bazemore, red, white, and blue. That's your rookie, Ignis. Get a lot of him as well. Jalen Noel and Nick Claxton. So yeah, so I do like these chases a lot. You're getting a lot of rookies, you're getting a lot of color. I mean, in comparison to the actual retail packs that you're buying, that you're paying 40 or $50 for now, in some cases 55, this is a really good alternative. It gives you, in my opinion, similar odds to hitting Zion or Jaw or any of those other rookies that you're kind of collecting. But, you know, you also are guaranteed color and you're guaranteed, you know, you don't really have all the base cards that maybe not all of us really like to collect or stock up on. Um, with this one, let's see who we got. We got a green, not a rookie, Justice Winslow. I love those Miami jerseys. Those are Miami Vice jerseys are really cool. Uh, Kelly Oubre, silver, very nice. He's a lot of fun to watch. He had a really good year this started this year. Hopefully, you know, next year he can carry it on. It got, I think he got a really bad ankle injury and kind of put him out for the end of this past season, but he's a really good ball player. And Tyler Johnson, red, white, and blue. Let's see who our rookies are. Mm. Alan Smeljic, the Warriors. Oh, oh, ah! man, we hit one. Awesome. Very cool. Obviously, you know, I have the one in the background. Sorry for hitting the camera. Have the one in the background. We have the RJ. I actually collect RJ over Jaw. I've been, you know, selling a lot of my Jaws just purely because I, I don't see him having the long-term career as, as RJ. Um, but not saying he's not gonna be a great ball player. I think Jaw is an awesome player. Um, so cool. We hit the the chase. Very nice. It's really pretty well centered too. You know, I think it's just slightly off center to the right. But this is a really nice card. Corners are really clean. Um, so awesome. That's really cool. The you know I said you know in the beginning of the video I have yet to hit one of his chase cards and I just did. So I'm glad. That's really nice. Um, definitely keeps me coming back to potentially. Um, well, I'm going to keep buying them anyways. I like them. I think it's, a, like I said, it's a great alternative. 
All right, one more. I mean, we obviously just hit the chase, the big chase of it, but let's see if we can hit the green one as well. Um, purely out of luck. Awesome. Very cool. All right. And that kind of, you know, goes into my point that this is a really good value. You can get an amazing Zion just as easily as you could out of a retail or hobby pack. Uh, and you're guaranteed the color. It's just, this is a really fun product. JJ Reddick, green. Let's see if we can get a rookie silver. Nope. Brooke Lopez, silver. John Wall. Man, I get a lot of John Wall, too. One of my good buddies from Kentucky is a huge UK fan, huge John Wall fan, so I actually give him a lot of my John Wall cards. Uh, another Isaiah Roby. Haunts me, but good ball player. Hopefully he really turns out. Another Davidas. And Romeo Langford, another, another guy I played for Indiana. Good ball player. Um... Didn't really produce as, as a freshman, but has a lot of potential. Um, cool. So yeah, I mean, in recap, we have a lot of really cool color. I'm a big, I like, I like collecting silver prism. I think um, the silvers are, are really nice. Obviously, lower print run, really cool. We got this great James Harden relic um, out of the NBA box, and then the big one, awesome zion prism that's a great card such a great value we just got um really cool i'm really glad i could get that on tape as well um so yeah chase my comics check him out on instagram really really cool product i definitely recommend and, and think you guys should all go and follow him and and definitely give his service some love just because it's, like i said it's a nice alternative to um our options currently with these retail prices um and then, yeah, this is Best Coast Collector. You can find me on Instagram as well at Best Coast Collector. Um, please like, subscribe. Uh, feel free to comment below. I think going forward, I might start doing giveaways. Um, so comment your favorite team, comment your Instagram, whatever you feel comfortable with. And uh, I look forward to interacting with you guys. Take care. Peace.